Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you my hair care routine. This is when I want to wash, dry, and flat iron my hair. So I'm going to be showing you my full routine. I only wash my hair a couple times a week, maybe two times a week. So when it gets nasty, it gets nasty and it needs a deep clean. So first I just wanna shout out these hair ties. They're my favorite hair ties ever. They last so long and they work perfectly. So I'll link them down below. They're perfect, they're the best ever. So just random, random comment. So anyways, as you can see, my hair looks dry and greasy and just nasty. It's due for a wash. So the first thing I'm going to do is just brush my hair. This is an eco tool tools brush. I will try to link it down below. Um, but I don't brush my hair on the daily most of the time because I style it once and I leave it styled like that for until I wash it again. So I just like to brush my hair before I wash my hair. Then we're going to wash our hair. So first, as far as shampoo goes, I love the Lush shampoo bars, and lately I've been using this one called Maltabano. Um, if you've never used a shampoo bar, basically you just lather it up in your hands like you would a normal bar of soap. Sometimes I'll just like lather it in my hands and then rub it straight on my scalp. It works so nice. I love the shampoo bar. It's nice and cleaning, like deep cleaning without drying out my hair too much, and I will list a couple other shampoo bars that I love in the description as well. Also, I love this little scalp massager. I just got it from Amazon and I really find that it's really nice on your head and it also helps with scalp buildup since I only wash my hair once or like twice a week. Then for conditioner, I'm going to take the 11 Australia Hydrate My Hair Moisture Conditioner. My hairstylist, Hair by Melissa McKenna, turned me on to this brand. They're an Australian brand. I will link them down below, but genuinely, it is such a nice conditioner. I love it. So after our, our hair is washed, we're just going to hop out of the shower and just squeeze out some of the excess water. Be sure not to rough up your hair. You don't want to cause extra frizz. Then I'm going to take the Miracle Hair Treatment, again by 11. My hairstylist, Melissa, turned me on to this. It is so freaking good. So I'm just going to take a pump or two of this and I'm just going to gently distribute it all through my hair root all the way to tip. I probably should have done two pumps of this, but I literally take it all through my hair. It makes my hair so soft and silky and it's just so nice. Then if you've been on my channel, you will recognize this old dusty turby twist. I love a turby twist. I just like to let my hair marinate in it for a while and it makes my hair so soft and smooth and just helps dry it without getting frizzy. So we're just going to wait and let that chill. Then after we've let our hair dry a little bit more in the turby twist, we are going to start brushing out our hair to blow dry it. So I'm just using that same brush. This is the brush I use for everything. I'm just brushing it and parting my hair in the way that I want it. And then we're going to start sectioning and blow drying our hair. I'm just gonna shake up my hair to kind of get the clumps of wet hair on together. Yeah, that makes sense. We're gonna go with that. And then we're going to start sectioning. So I just kind of section my hair in fourths. Obviously I'm missing a side of my head so I don't have the most hair to blow dry. So we're just going to use a little alligator clip, clip that up out of the way, and we're going to start blow drying. Before that, I'm going to spray the IGK Good Behavior Spray. This is so nice for shine and frizz. If you find you have a hard time getting that nice, smooth, shiny look, try this stuff. It is so nice. And then we're just going to take a blow dryer with a um, concentrator nozzle, and we're going to blow dry our hair pointing down. So again, we're just going to spray our hair in sections. And then with our blow dryer, we're going to grab sections with the brush and point your hair dryer down to, again, make a more smooth um, smooth result. So we're just going to blow dry our hair. It's pretty, pretty normal, pretty standard operation. And again, with each section before I blow dry, I'm spraying a little bit of that IGK spray. I don't like spraying too much of this because I, I do find that sometimes it can weigh my hair down, but mostly it weighs my hair down if I try to spray it on when my hair is dry. Dry. If you're using this on dry hair, make sure to just spray a little bit. But it actually didn't weigh my hair down a ton when I use when I use it wet. So <clears throat> again, we're just going to blow dry our hair. I really, really like this brush. I don't necessarily know if it's the best brush for this, but I really like it and it's just a nice, easy brush to use. So I just kind of take it in sections and go through and again, just blow dry my hair.
And then when I get to the, the to the top section, I like to use my fingers to really tousle and feel where my hair is more wet and where I need to blow dry it more. And I feel like my fingers just smooth out my hair a little bit nicer than a brush sometimes. Your fingers have moisture in them, so I feel like it just helps moisturize my hair and make it just smoother and softer. So we are 100% dry and now it's time to flat iron our hair. So my flat iron literally just stopped working. This is a Chi flat iron. I've only had it for like less than two years and it just stopped working today. So I had to run out and go grab a new one. I just picked up this one from Ulta, just an Infinity Pro one with titanium plates. The girl at Ulta said it was really good and it was only like 40 bucks. So again, we're gonna take those same sections. And since we put in those two treatments, our hair should be pretty dang protected from heat. And we're just going to flat iron our hair so I am following the flat iron I'm following the brush with the flat iron just again to smooth it out and I know the like footage is sped up but I only like to do one or two passes in each section and I'm going relatively slow so again this is speed up I think like three times so if you take that I'm going pretty slow through my hair and again I just really like to brush out my hair as I'm doing this I barely ever touch my hair I'm mostly just using my brush to pick up sections and to flat iron my hair so as you can see here I'm taking relatively slow passes especially through these front parts of my hair the, par the parts that you really really want pinned straight I'm just doing nice slow sections And this was my first time using this flat iron, but I really, really like it. Look how nice and shiny my hair is turning out. we're just about done with my hair then I just like to do a couple extra passes underneath and as you can see my hair is so soft looking so shiny and so pin straight I'm so happy with it nobody does my hair like my hairdresser but this is what I do when I can't go have my hairdresser blow out my hair so I hope you guys enjoyed this little hair care routine let me know what you guys want to see next I love you I'll see you guys later bye